This is the first video in the complex analysis series, and the topic of this video is sets. So a set is defined as any collection of points. So here I've drawn a set, and this set is consisting of this boundary, and the, this boundary is a technical term, which we'll learn the exact definition of in a second, and it contains everything inside the boundary as well. So let's start with our first definition, which is interior point. So an interior point is, let's say, let's pick this one, is any point so that you can draw an open disk around this point and everything inside that disk will be part of this set. So let's break that down. An open disk is basically a circle, but only the inside of the circle. The outside is not considered part of the open disk. So that means if we can draw such an object like this around that point and everything inside of it is inside of the blue set, which it is, then this center point is called an interior point. Um, so the next definition we'll learn is a boundary point, and a boundary point is a similar definition, except that it's any point such that if we draw an open disk around it, some of the points inside the disk are inside the set and some are always outside. And we see that's the case here. So let's make it a little bit bigger to make it obvious. So I'm going to magnify this so we can see a better picture. So this is just going to be the boundary. This will be all parts of the inside of the set. And here is a boundary point. So no matter how small of a disk we choose, we can choose a little disk like this. Always some of the points are going to be inside the set and some are going to be outside, which is why this is called a boundary point. I'll abbreviate BP. So, and this is an interior point, an IP. So now that we have definitions for interior points and boundary points, we can make definitions for open and closed sets. So an open set is simply defined as a set that contains only interior points. A closed set is a set that contains all of its boundary. And as promised, we'll learn the technical term for boundary. Boundary is simply the collection of all boundary points. So for this blue set here, the boundary would be what we, what we think it is, the outside, because all of these are boundary points. Now, a set can have a boundary without containing its boundary. So if we draw the same set, I'm going to try to draw it as close as possible, except I make it open. And that means that it contains all of the inside, but not its boundary. It still has a boundary but it just does not contain it, so it's not part of the set. So this set does not have any boundary points. So this is open, and this set is closed. Now, it's important to note that sets don't have to be strictly open or closed. They can be neither. And a good example is, let's say, uh, let's take this set and modify it. So let's give it part of its boundary. Let's just draw it in. So let's say now it contains that much of its boundary. These are now boundary points, uh, but it still has this part of the boundary is not included. So we ask ourselves, is it open? Is it only interior points? No, because all of these are boundary points. Is it closed? Does it contain its boundary? Well, not all of it, so it's neither. So it's important to make that distinction. It doesn't have to be open or closed. Okay, so now what we can talk about is just a few more definitions, um, and then I'll move on to the next topic. So a connected set. A connected set is simply any set uh, so that when you draw it, and let's just take this one for example, no matter which two points you pick, you can always connect them with some curve, and that curve always lies totally inside the set. So we see that this curve lies inside the set. Now, this is not always the case. For example, let's take this set. This set contains of two circles, which are not, which are separated by some space. So if we were to pick, let's say, um, a two points in this circle, sure, we can connect them with something that's totally inside the set. But if we pick this point and this point, you see that there's no possible way we're going to connect these two points because all of this, this part right here is not inside the set. So this is not a connected set, while this is a connected set. But each of these individual circles itself will be a connected set. So it's important to make that distinction. Um, and now we're going to kind of mix together two definitions we already have for another definition. So it's if a set is open and connected, if it's both, we call it a domain. And this will be important later on when we need to define domains of functions and stuff like that. Um, and the last definition we're going to look at is called convex. And convex simply means that if we have a set, 
let's say like this, and all the inside. We can connect any two points in it with a straight line. So like this, we can connect this with a straight line. Um, for example, a set that's not convex will be like this, this kind of arrow thing. Now, if we pick two certain points, there's no way we can connect them with a straight line. Uh, oh, sorry, the straight line has to also lie inside the set because, of course, two points connected are a straight line. So we see that this point, these two points connected, the line segment is all inside of it, but these two points, if we connect them, it just goes outside the set underneath that arrow. It's more obvious if I choose points down here. Then all of this section right here is not inside the set. So we just went through some basic definitions. Open, closed, interior points, boundary points, connected, domain, and convex. So keep those all in mind until next time.